All right, so there's a lot of people that are wondering what the heck is going on up in Chimney Rock because there's a lot of conspiracies coming out there about that place. And it's from a lot of people that may not have necessarily been there or talked to any of the local folks. So I wanted to take a moment to squash all that nonsense with some actual hard evidence of people that live there. Fortunately, so Sean Hendricks, this guy right here, uh, went up there to Chimney Rock and interviewed a whole bunch of folks in the town, including including the mayor. So anyway, let's watch the video and I'll show you ways to help the community at the end of the video. Listen to what they had to say so we can clear the air. Yeah, people are coming in. Gonna give a second for everybody to join. We got a helicopter landing. Yeah, I don't like being near the helicopter. I don't. I don't disagree. I've only lost one ball cap. I don't want to lose another one. All right. Hopefully everybody can hear us okay. They gonna raise our bridge that high? As soon as the uh, helicopter clears, guys, we'll, uh, I don't know if you guys could, I've never done this before, so. Hopefully people can hear us. We're gonna, you got a couple minutes right now, right? Let me out, so. Hey guys, I'm here in Chimney Rock. I've uh, been here. Town administrator. Town administrator. Uh, what was your name? Town administrator? Stephen Duncan. Stephen Duncan. And you're the mayor? P Peter O'Leary, mayor. Peter O'Leary. Peter, we just wanted to come up here. A lot of people are curious about what's going on in Chimney Rock. And I just, what's what's going on here and what's the future look like for your town? Well, well, the disaster, obviously we're recovering from the disaster. And, um, you know, just trying to get things rolling as far as uh, debris removal uh, their work DOT is working on the road so there's there's um, just a lot of activity right now on the infrastructure and kind of the bigger picture and, we, and, a, and a big thing we're trying to do is make it as safe as possible and get people in here back in here as quick as possible and that by that I mean property owners business owners so that's that's a huge focus of ours right now is to try and get them in literally as soon as possible in fact after i talk to to you i'm going to we're meeting and trying to come up with a schedule for next week and we're just hopeful i mean it's it's literally day to day but we're trying to get people in here you know it's very fast trying to get that's, people back i know that's a big concern a lot of people are trying to get people back in their homes in, and that's that's really what we're pushing for right now yeah anything else you want to add well, I mean, that's it, it's also immediate and day to day. I mean, there's been some question about the long term future of Chimney Rock. And, you know, I, I've been here 34 years. I've had a business 32 years here. Every single person I've talked to, local, state, federal, all the business owners, I mean, everybody, even in the midst of this tragedy and, and devastation, they're all so positive and so optimistic. And everybody's working towards rebuilding the town. So rebuilding. Anything that you hear out there, I haven't heard a lot. I just hear rumors are passed on every once in a while. None of them are even remotely true because we, we, we can't even bother with these rumors. We're here trying to rebuild the town. And that's our focus. That's really what we're doing all day long, every day. That's straight Perfect. from the mayor. Thank you so much. All right. Something I wanted to point out to you guys is they're literally re-diverting the river. They lost a lot of their land to the river. They're building a way to push the river back into its banks so that they can rebuild all the stores that are now missing, at least hopefully. And then uh, you're the town administrator. You just want to? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, my primary role here is to assist the mayor and the community, making sure our policies reflect those that are necessary to get the things done uh, uh, that we need to get done. I handle a lot of the details so that the mayor is free to you know, talk to who he needs to. And then um, if they need a decision, sometimes I just make them and go. Um, because we have lots of needs, business, residents, DOT, Department of Transportation, 
we're now working and we hope to have our water system partially up and running uh, as soon as they deliver good. A, um, a generator here so that we can provide some services here. Everything we can do as quickly as we can so that our residents that have homes still here can at least come check their houses and then work with the business folks so that they can come and see one side of the road we're looking at how fast we can start restoration the other side of the road it's can we save it and if we can what needs to be done and how can we help them get the funding that's necessary to do that and then there will be some that we will have to probably have removed what do those property owners want to do plus we got to coordinate with as we're we've been a municipality since july 1 in 1991 1991 fact, i walked that legislation through to help create this town and i've never technically left so we're trying to figure out what we can do to help those business people figure out what they need to do to get back on their feet so we've got roads that we're wanting to do we've got a com commerce area that we're wanting to go ahead and develop to replace what we left so those are the things that we're working with to try to make uh, uh, as fast a recovery as we can so that we can put Jimmy Rock back to business and let the tourists who love Hickory Nut Gorge in this valley Look how come beautiful by. this is up here. I mean, you got to come is. visit. <laughs> it is. It, it is. Uh, I fell in love with it many, many years ago, and I've never left. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Um, the, uh, where did Nick go? He's right here. A lot of these guys, they're firefighters, but Nick, you're also resident, obviously, and this is your restaurant right down there, correct? See, they're... Yes, Sean. All right. So go ahead and tell they're us They're rebuilding. Here. Hey, everybody. My name is Nick. Um, I own a restaurant right down here at the Chim Chimney Rod Smokehouse. Um, right now, we're trying to get that online. We got a generator donated to us. Once we get it online, we're planning on feeding everybody up here with a bunch of your, of your donations. Um, our number one priority as part of the fire department is everybody's safety. Uh, we are working our diligently. We're all volunteers. We're business owners. We're residents, and we're just, you know, this is our home. You know, we're gonna rebuild. Uh, there's a lot of rumors. I don't even have time to watch TV right now, but there's a lot of rumors out there that are just not true. Yep. I mean, this is our home. It's our livelihood. It's, it, we love this place. And as everyone that's been to Chimney Rock, you guys know what it's like. It's a small town community. This is the strongest group of people I've ever had the pleasure of being with. I used to. We, we have another business too. My wife and I. Um, unfortunately, that did get some major damage with the uh, with the storm. But I mean, I remember working that business when we first opened. I would I'd be your bartender. I would serve. Uh, my wife was cleaning rooms, and I was cleaning toilets. It was just. And then when we needed help, we would call the locals, and they would other restaurants, other businesses. They come in and they just help and support us. And that's not going to change. I mean, yeah, it, we're in the national disaster right now, but. This is just going to bring our family together, and we're, we're going to rebuild, I and mean, we're going to come back better than ever. We're going to rebuild. Um, All right. A couple other guys here. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the next guy, what was your name again? John Payne. John. John, I just want to ask you about the uh, the night that it happened and uh, just your guys' experience. They only had one death in this town, and I just wanted you to talk about what it was like getting there for the fire department with no external help to get everybody out of this town. It was a lot of door-to-door -door knocking. A lot of convincing because like i said we're only one death down here and no one's seen this river this high so 96 it went barely this high you know i mean into the roads so they were trying to think about that but now there's when we told them it's going to take the bridges some yeah, most of them listen got and it thankfully yeah most of them listen and that's we, that's good and we went back in the morning and told them it's already creeks rising yep now's the time because they had another flood back in the 90s at that point. yeah all right. Yeah. 96, so they had guys, another flood. We got everyone out of here. We have lost one person. A person decided to stay, is what I understand. Yeah. And, I mean, that's... There's an elderly decision. lady. But, uh, an that old, is an elderly bed bedridden woman. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, wow. it's... Uh, one loss is one too many. Yep. Uh, but you guys are absolutely heroes for getting everybody out of this town. And uh, I don't want to lose sight of what happened here. Yeah, they did a good, and what, good what job, man. what happened here. And that was you guys. Here's a fire department. Really took care of your town. And that's super important. Yeah. You guys are... We, we are each other's neighbors. We are each other's kin, each other's family. So... Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Wait, Crushed it. Because we're not actually related doesn't mean that we're not family in the other way. Yeah. Because small town strong. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And your name again? Yeah, they crushed uh, Bruce. it. Bruce, thank you so much. Uh, Bruce here, um, fire department, yes, sir. business owner, business owner and homeowner. you lived above your business. Yeah, right behind right? it on the river. Yeah, so his business and home used to be like right there. And yeah. so just, just tell us your experience. 
Uh, well, I volunteer with the fire department here. I've uh, been here for 15 years and uh, uh, have a, a, a great community. And we tried to make sure that everybody was out of the area, uh, went door to door, evacuating all low-lying areas. Um, like uh, John said, unfortunately, the, the one lady mm -hmm. you know, couldn't get out. Um, luckily, uh, we had a few people that were staying in residence or, or, or above the business, and we got them out just in time. Um, when uh, we started to serve breakfast here the, uh, the morning that it hit, uh, my uh, wife and our cat was in the house. Oh, man. Unfortunately, uh, the cat didn't make it out, but I got her out. Damn. Your wife, your wife was safe. Mm -hmm. Lost your cat. I'm so sorry to hear cat that. Cat didn't make it, man. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it was literally uh, went down there to try to uh, save the basement from flooding. Mm -hmm. And uh, within 30 minutes, it was, it, it was, we watched it all from the firehouse. Every, all the business was leaving and peeled away it was it was horrific i know and, it's, and thank you for sharing because i know it's so fresh and raw yeah. but i just want people to hear what you guys went through and absolutely um yeah. and you're still up here working at the yes, fire department every day yeah you got, since last week and that stop yeah i don't know if i have that that's something else that i don't even know what to say to you about that that is incredible well, that's, that's the chimney rock strong <laughs> all right chimney rock here. strong let's go yeah. <laughs> well Thank you again. Um, you guys sharing these stories so soon after. I, wouldn't it wouldn't have been necessary if it wasn't so much so much press about this area without really finding out what's going on. Exactly. And I just wanted to give you guys a chance to just share your guys' experiences up here, and I really thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to also uh, yeah, thank, go ahead. thank well, please. The, the local community that's, that's been uh, so supportive here. So we really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. No, I've, I've, I mean, I love what I've seen here. With the, the people, what yeah, you guys we, are we doing. made it through Party Rock Fire and some other, you know, the the, yeah. the, the ninety six flood. I wasn't actually here for the ninety six, but Party Rock did. Yeah, basically, lived here at the firehouse, but we protected everyone's homes. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Again, this thank is you a again. whole another level. Yeah, we, we're, we're, look out we're there for you. It sure people is. Are, uh, my goal is make sure people don't forget about North Carolina mm -hmm. and what happened up. Nope, there. then they won't. Know, the news cycle is going to change in a week and a half or another day or two. Yep. And it'll be long forgotten, but yeah. And we're gonna, yeah, we're praying for everybody in Florida too. We're yeah, there's another disaster on the horizon. Yep. Yep. But uh, thank you again. We really appreciate it. Thank you. So yeah, I linked. You can see now why I took the donations away from me specifically. The work here is beyond what I can do. Right? I've done all the the needs that can be met. Like we're getting laptops up here right now, guys. We're still taking care of people when we can. But the rebuilding up here is beyond measure. I can't come down here and rebuild a new road and do divert a river. The DOT's handling that, but these people have to rebuild their businesses and lost everything. Yeah. That's where they need your help. I've linked it in the top of, uh, appended to the top of my page. Please give money there. Obviously, everything you guys have sent, every penny that I've been given will go to helping Western North Carolina. Anything you have shipped out, I will personally drive up here. And we are going to continue to meet the needs of North Carolina. No one's abandoning this up here. I just want the the attention to go to raising money for Chimney Rock because I'm worried with all the, the press that people won't feel confident donating to this effort up here. Um, I'm also going to link their Facebook, which is uh, I actually she's been somebody else. They have a Facebook page. I'll link it. And uh, that's where they're posting daily updates. So if you want to watch this 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 town, Chimney Rock Strong rebuild, follow their Facebook. That's the real info. That's from these people that live here. They're posting it. Not don't listen to somebody sitting in the front seat of their car that has that, like if I was telling you, don't listen to me. Listen to the people that are here. Follow their social media and give to this project. Guys, thank you for um, for tuning in. I hope this worked well. I've never done a live before, but pray for these guys and more importantly, support them and don't forget about them. That that was very informative. All right, so there's a gift. There's a give, send, go associated with Chimney Rock, and if you want to donate to help them with their recovery efforts and rebuilding the town. I will put the link to their Give, Send, Go in the description. And yeah, please check it out because these people are going to have to rebuild their entire community. It was completely ripped out and shoved into Lake Lure. So um, I appreciate you guys watching the video. And yeah, I just wanted to, I think that I was talking to Sean earlier today. I told him I would share this across my social media so people could get the real deal picture of what's going on. And, you know, I hope that, this right here can kind of squash some of the rumors that have been circulating that are kind of nonsense because there's a lot of it. And uh, yeah, let's let's stop arguing about nonsense and start helping people. All right, we'll see you next time.